Hey everybody, this is Beat the Bush. Today I'm going to show you how I made this butane lightsaber. I started with this Newport Zero Butane torch lighter I bought on Amazon. I'll leave a link down below if you want to get one. You can see that the torch is actually right angled and much of these butane torches are right angled. So it doesn't make to look like a lightsaber very much. You really want it to uh, twist that and make it straight. And that's exactly what I did here. I made a bunch of parts to convert it so that it would be straight. I've taken it apart. This head used to be attached right here, but I just sawed it off. Here's an ignition unit. If you press this, it'll hit the piezo unit inside. And it's just gonna try to connect the circuit from this wire back into here. I had to connect this electrically to this outer shell. So I put a blade here that's really thin and it would connect this, this ignition lighter up here. And then it would connect with this outer ring of this aluminum. And this outer ring of this aluminum would uh, touch this and complete the circuit. Otherwise, uh, if you don't do this, the ignition button won't work. So there's three pieces I made here. The aluminum piece, this nylon piece, and this L bracket thing. I used some steel wool to wipe out the logo. So the thing that holds the gas is actually not a metal container. It's this plastic piece right here. This is the adjustment for the fuel. If you pull this up, the fuel will come out, like so. This is just essentially what I call the blade length here. Putting this back together is a little tricky. These pieces, I just used a uh, tabletop machining device. I manually did it because these are just one-off pieces. I, I'm not going to mass produce them or anything, so I just kind of eyeballed the dimensions and then um, put it together. There's a step in there. There's also a step on this so that when you push this down in here, it fits perfectly. Put that open. I also made some modification to the plastic itself. There's no hole here and there's no secondary little hole here. The secondary little hole is for the ignition wire. And then you can see I made two holes on each side for, for this holder. This bracket holds onto this, it connects to this. And then this thing connects to the back bracket with a screw. And this whole assembly connects to this down to the base with another screw. Sad to say, but I only uh, connected this together with one screw. If uh, I were to do it again, I'd probably try to cut it so that it would uh, have more retaining power. Let me uh, put it back together. So putting this back together, I accidentally pierced a little bit of this tubing here. So I had to cut it off and it's essentially a little bit shortened, but it should still work. It's good that I have this set screw here so I can essentially turn it until it looks relatively straight and I can tighten it. And then put this in. It's back in. So this is not going to survive another opening, I don't think, or too many uh, more openings. I would rather to just let it be. Make sure it still works. So for that nylon piece, I basically took one of these and cut it to size with this machine. Right now, there's only a drill bit on here, which makes holes, right? I use these end mills that uh, would actually cut sideways and I can cut it to shape whatever I want. Normally you can use the computer behind me and uh, do this programming but since I was only making one piece I'd rather just do it by hand. Just chuck this piece in here, turn this thing on and uh, turn, turn these knobs 
I can make it go in the XYZ direction. So this machine is in English units, the, the little dials on the side, if you, every two turns is 0.1 inches. Kind of use that as a measurement to figure out what you're cutting and such like that. I'm not going to actually cut any pieces right now today. Uh, I just wanted to show you that this machine, that's what it does. If you want to see me actually using this machine, you can check out my fake Apple Watch video. In there, I actually use this machine to make a Apple Watch. Apparently in the comments, people want to call this the butane saver rather than a lightsaber. It does emit light and I mean, it does not it's not that hot actually, see? It doesn't really cut me. It does get hot if you put it for too long. This is Beat the Bush, don't forget to like, comment down below, and subscribe over here. Thanks for watching.